Okay, so let's just get straight into it. Um, as no surprise to anybody, a PS4 has obviously been outselling the Xbox One by quite a large number. As we all know, Ubisoft uh, just recently released their first quarter sales and uh, it came out showing that PS4 was selling their crap pretty much two to one to the Xbox One. Um, and it all, it all just goes back to PS4, uh, the way they launched their product, the way that they marketed it. And it, it's, yes, it is, it is slightly more powerful uh, and I think that does help, but uh, really what, what really got it there was just the way they presented it. I mean, the PS4 is still more expensive than the Xbox One and they're still outselling Xbox One. Microsoft has stepped up their game, I'm going to give them that. Um, they really did impress me uh, at E3, but so did Sony. And uh, it just goes to show you how important it is to get it straight out the gate uh, the first time. Another thing that's helped PS4 this month immensely is their marketing of Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, they had that awesome console that released. Obviously the game's gonna run at a slightly higher quality, higher frame rate. Um, and then of course they had that extra content and that was pretty much the cherry on top that pushed this game over the edge. It uh, made people want to uh, buy it you know, on the PS4. I honestly would have liked to buy it on the PS4. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford both consoles. And um, you know, Bat... Back when I made the decision uh, of which console to get, um, I was just, you know, a little bit more familiar with Xbox. I did have a PlayStation 2 back in the day, but I kind of moved over to Xbox because of the Star Wars titles that they had for uh, the original Xbox. And then I got an Xbox 360 and I had my Xbox Live account already active. So, um, and I really did want to play Project Spark and I thought, hmm, well, you know, I guess I'll go with the Xbox One. But I, I remain mostly impartial. Uh, throughout my decision making and next month I am planning to get a uh, PlayStation 4 and honestly uh, if I had any patience about me if I wanted to wait at all I definitely would have uh, waited to buy Arkham Knight for the PS4 it's just so much better even the PS3 with uh, Arkham Origins they had uh, just way better DLC for that game but I don't know it, it's not really a big surprise to anybody M Microsoft um they are a good solid company they're gonna be around for a while Sony it seems like uh, the only thing that they've been able to do right uh <laughs> lately is the PS4 uh, hopefully it stays that way and honestly I expect the PS4 to continue to outsell the Xbox one even though I love both consoles uh Microsoft they just didn't get out the gate like they should have they tried to shove the connect down our throats then they finally found out hey we don't want that crap. They got rid of that. They slimmed down their console. They pretty much admitted that uh, the Kinect is uh, a, just a dead technology that they're not gonna really pursue any further. And they're streamlining and they're getting there, but I just honestly, I just don't think they're gonna, that they're not going to own uh, this generation of consoles. The seventh generation of consoles belongs to Sony. And especially in Japan. Uh, the Xbox One is one of the lowest selling consoles over there. You know, and you can say, oh, the Xbox One's better than the Wii U. Well, there's a lot of things better than the Wii U. Uh, the Wii U's just been a really big disappointment, but that's a whole nother video. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Just let me know, uh, what do you think about this stuff? What do you think about uh, Xbox One? What do you think about PlayStation 4? Do you think I'm right? Do you think PlayStation 4 is going to continue to outsell the Xbox One? Is there a console you prefer and why? I'd love to hear about all that stuff in the comment box below. And as always, uh, keep those Punisher hats on, and I'll see you later.